fireworks. The cheering crowds and the beat of the drums and the sound of the fireworks all meant one thing, that it was game time. Coach was the master at building championship teams. We may have been undersized. We may have been outmatched on paper. But one thing we weren't was out prepared. Coach emphasized the importance of preparation. Whether it was in the weight room, watching film, if you prepared, you would be successful. Coach was also able to instill in us that if you apply that same mentality into your everyday life, you too will be a success off of this football field. So to the Curry family, thank you for allowing us to pay tribute to Coach. And thank you for being supportive as Coach did what he loved. Thank you, Mrs. Curry, and thank you to the rest of the Curry family. I would like to call Dave Cole back. Good afternoon, everybody. I'm Dave Kovach, Columbia County Commissioner. I'm really, really glad to be able to here to help the Curry family celebrate this day. So way back a long time ago, I grew up two blocks from here. So I've been coming to football games at Crispin Field my whole life, and it's not gonna change. I'm gonna keep coming. So, uh, Coach Curry, he changed football in Burrick. He changed Burrick. You can still, if you put on a Burrick shirt, a Burrick football shirt, and travel anywhere you want, invariably, somebody's gonna say, oh, I know you guys, that's Coach Curry. So that's what he carried on, it didn't matter. Florida, out the West Coast, anywhere. But there was more to George Curry than football, even though you might not have seen it. He helped so many young men to learn good disciplines and good values that so many of his players became successful after football, starting with his son, Cause. Oh, oh well, I'm sure there was a right and a wrong at home, so <laughs> yeah, that's, where, that's where it all starts. Oh, I'm, I'm just excited to be here to help. Uh, if you haven't seen the, the video of the, of George Curry doing the patent impression. You need to see that. That's, oh my goodness, it's great. Oh, I'm gonna end with, um, wow, this is, this is harder than I thought. <laughs> um, Coach Curry lived by a motto. God, family, football. So on behalf of the Columbia County Commissioners and all of Columbia County, Congratulations to the Curry family and to everyone that helped make this possible. What a great way to honor Coach Curry. Thank you. Oh, I'm good. I'm going to introduce a fellow that played a little football here and then went and played somewhere else. You might know him a little bit. Uh, Bo Orlando. Oh. Well, Thank you, Dave. Um, like, <clears throat> like Dave said, this goes much more than, farther than football, and that's what I tell my kids now and trying to bring our, our program back. You know, I always tell them that there's only one guy that, that can do it all, and, and he's not here right now. Um, I try to do my best and try to uh, install the things that, that he installed in all of us. Um, you know, there were 70, 80 players on, 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 our, on our field, on our uh, roster every year. A lot of those guys didn't play. They even touched the field. But there's a lot of guys that were successful from them because, because of this man, George Curry, and what he taught us and, and the things off the field. So we can talk about his accolades and the state championships and the national championships. But, but like Dave said, I can go on and on about stories that I've heard um, that he did off the field, that, that he went to church every day. He, was, he would beat the priest at, at the door, you know, opening the door. Um, that stuff goes much, much farther than football. And that's the stuff that I took and had the, the opportunity afterwards um, to have breakfast with him, 
uh, a couple of the mornings and uh, just hear him talk about life. I mean, you want to talk about uh, a motivating guy in football. Uh, he was a motivating guy in life. And uh, it, it, it's, it's why everyone, you know, all the players, whether they played or not, were very, very successful. And I would not be standing up here and, and have accomplished what I have accomplished without coach because my dad passed away when I was 15. And uh, you know, a coach is a big part of my life. And uh, you know, I learn and, and try to try to take and, and, and try to emulate what he does. And like I said, there's only there's only one George Curry, so I, I, I try to do my best. But uh, but seeing it's it's great seeing everybody here. It kind of brings us back to the to the 80s and 90s and uh, seeing all the past players and, and, and the guys that were involved in the football program. Um, it's great to see we had something special, and it was um, you know every, everybody knows it. So um, but I got to get back to to the team and. Uh, I just think I, this is a great idea that they did they, they, back a couple, or a couple months ago when I heard about it. I think, I think that we should do a lot more for George, and, and I like to do a lot more things in, into the stadium, but we'll, we'll work on that. But I'd like to thank you all for coming. It's a special event, and uh, good luck. And uh, I would like to – now I'd like to introduce uh, his only son, Cosmo Curry, the one and only. Woo! Jackie! Woo! <laughs> well, good afternoon, everyone. Uh, my name is Kaz Curry. Uh, my mom, Jackie. Uh, my sister, Kelly's here. It's my nephew, Simeon, in the back, wearing all my dad's bling. Uh, <laughs> he, uh, he was inducted into the uh, uh, National Honor Society yesterday in Emmaus Middle School. And uh, we're thankful he takes after his uncle. <laughs> that was supposed to be funny. Um, first off, I'd like to thank many, many people. Uh, Borough Council for your idea in, in bringing this to fruition today. Mayor Burke, I uh, can't thank you know, the, uh, the leaders of, of Berwick enough for this, for this gesture and this opportunity. Uh, your preparation, the, the idea, the consideration of it, the communication to get everything ready, really appreciate it. You know, Berwick's a great place to live and a great place to raise children. And, uh, you know, our family has been blessed uh, by that opportunity. I want to thank Mike, Mike Monaco from The Forge. I was The Forge for setting the stage up and just being a community guy and always just always there. Like anytime you need something, Mike's there to support you and back you up. Can't thank you enough, man. I really appreciate it. Uh, Catherine Kelcher holding the picture here, and her, her husband, fiance, Vince, yes. uh, for painting this beautiful, Vince, giveaway for the, the painting. Um, you know, this, uh, they've had some tremendous ideas about utilizing these paintings uh, for uh, raising uh, funds for ALS, and, you know, it's something that's obviously near and dear to our heart still. And, you know, going back even to Borough Council, you know, all the support you gave during the walks and everything that we did here, you know, we gave well over $150,000 to ALS for research and uh, to find a cure for that god-awful disease. But uh, can't thank you enough, Vince, for your work and what you're doing in the community. And uh, I don't know if you guys are aware of this or not, but Vince actually uh, had, had a contract with Topps Cards. If you're familiar with card collecting, Football, baseball, hockey, basketball. That, that guy had a uh, did some amazing work with the company, and uh, showed me some of that work, and was kind enough to give me a few of those cards. It's just a just a great asset to, to Berwick. Thank you. I'd like to thank all of you for being here tonight, for caring enough to come out and taking the time out of your Friday night to be here. Uh, you know, he loved, I think I know nearly everybody here, and you know, his love for, for you as individuals, for being supportive of him, for our family, as part of a larger fan base, like it was really important for him to, to have these opportunities, and uh, just, I can't say enough good about that. Uh, he loved our community, he loved, he loved Berwick, he loved the people, he, most importantly, he loved the kids, which I'll get to in a little bit. 
Uh, I want to thank Bo, okay, for his work as not just athletic director, but taking over the program here and, you know, doing everything he just described. I, you know, I told him I didn't want this to be a distraction on game night. I see Carl here, a guy who played for my dad. We were teammates together 100 years ago. And, uh, you know, it's, uh, it, it was really important that, uh, that the team, you know, I told him I don't want the team out here. I don't think that's, that's appropriate right now. Uh, you know, you got, a, you got a mission, you got a game, and you have a goal. <clears throat> you got to get after that. But uh, the, uh, you know, I think what Bo said about instilling culture, pride, and discipline in the program is, is what you know, resonates. And when I think about that word pride, all of you who played will remember in the locker room over here in the corner, now the ninth grade locker room, the word pride painted on the floor. And he was like a nut every year at the end of the season. It would close for a week, it would be repainted, and we'd start over again. And that would recycle itself over and over and over for you know as many years as he was here. Uh, but you know, pride could be a horrible thing in terms of uh, a sin, but not the way we used it because it was important that we, it, things were important to us. And and taking pride in something meant you cared, and it was a commitment. Uh, as I think about as I think about our dad and the things. Uh, you mentioned, uh, Dave mentioned earlier, Dave Kovach, Commissioner God Family Football, and that was his mantra. And certainly, uh, he was a disciplinarian. He was very, very hard on his players, very, very hard on his coaches, everybody. And it wasn't always easy, but it was really an effort to build mental toughness. Uh, if, as a parent of kids with parent, excuse me, for student athletes and then parents with kids in the program, if they had buy-in, they were tremendously successful and they did extremely well. Okay, if they tried to rationalize by trying to make an excuse about something, it usually didn't work out real well in those situations. But he, you know, he was about education, he was about a career, a very career minded guy, truly loved the military and had great honor and reverence for it. And, you know, was, a, was proud of all his players, but he really appreciated the guys that went on to, to the uh, academies, be it uh, West Point or Naval Academy. We had many. Uh, he, uh, when I think about all the players, he had he had thousands of sons, and uh, he would tell you if he were here, you know, first of all he'd be complaining that this was going on because I think if you, as you know him, he, he was not he tried to just stay out of the out of the way with with this, uh, but it's uh, we're very honored that that he's that this is happening because you know it's a testament, like when we look at this sign when it's unveiled, it's going to be a you know his name will be on it. But the way I see it, and I really thought about this, you know, I'll see him, but I'll also see every coach that coached with him, every player that played with him. I see Kerf here, I see Doc Campbell here, okay, I see Stan here, okay, I see you know, all the support people that were there to help through the year, over the years to uh, Coach Pruitt here, Coach Mahaley, Coach Seeley, okay, Coach Hiddle, who's not with us anymore, okay, uh, just the, the uh, I lost my place, sorry. He would say that with all of that, he never played it down. Ultimately, that's what it comes down to. He said, I, I, I never played it down. It was the blood, sweat, and tears of all the players. Give them the credit. In fact, Spady, remember the time you guys built that big card and you had thousands of people sign it? Remember how mad he was when you tried to present it to him after the game? I forget what it was even for, if it was X number of wins or something or a championship. But he didn't, you know, he, he, he kept pointing at the kids. And I remember him yelling at you, in fact. So, you know, it was... If you were if you were if you were being yelled at, you were in good graces. That was a good thing. <laughs> uh, but um, he just he truly loved the, the players, though. And, and as I said, all the, all of uh, everybody was a family member to him. Uh, discipline meant love. And you know he would say, when I stop yelling at you, that's when you need to worry. And so you really, you know, re uh, reverence that. In fact, uh, there's a story about B.J. Hayes. If you know B.J., remember B.J. back in the 90s, and B.J. was hurt, and he was out for about three weeks. And when he came back, he screwed up, like, within the first two plays something, and he rips, starts yelling and screaming, and he's going off this rant at B.J. And B.J. looks at Coach Fruit and goes, boy, does that feel good. <laughs> <laughs> But yeah, ultimately he wanted to make men out of boys. Football wasn't the end, it was the means to the end because he wanted every player to be a better son. And as, you, as we move through life, a better husband, a better father, okay, a better uh, relative, 
a better community member and, and, and a provider, just a better human being, a better person. That's really all he ever wanted. And, you know, his ways were, were unique sometimes. He wanted it done his way, and there was no other way. It was that, there was, that was just it. it was, there was a standard, you met it. If you didn't, you knew about it. And uh, I mean, there was a time, remember, he didn't talk to me for nine months. Literally, he didn't talk to me for nine months because he was mad at me for something that happened down here that I didn't do that he felt I should have done. But the point is, I got the message. I knew what I needed to do. And I needed to learn something that I didn't know because I told an outside backer to go some, one way and he should have went the other. So, <laughs> so uh, and, and I think having said all that, and I hope this is coming across clear. I don't usually get nervous talking to people, but this is this is emotional. Uh, I want to thank my mom, okay, because you know he has said on multiple occasions, he said two things. He said, "Your mother's the boss, and don't ever think that she's not." And you know he would do he, he would do things that would he would think he's in charge, but ultimately she would make the decision. But you know, really, it was it was her willingness too to you know allow him to be down here and do the things he did as a coach because it was it was brutal like as a guy like, you guys who coach will know Sunday night meeting starting at four you'd be we'd be here to 11 then we had Monday practices or JV games and we had Tuesday practice Wednesday practice Thursday practice Friday game Saturday morning JV practice and a double scout on Saturday and that was week after week after week and you know there were times like we wouldn't see each other but two hours four hours a week with your family but so but the point is the loyalty of the guys who bought in and he would be the first one to say they were here how much he appreciated that because he knew he couldn't do it without the guys on his, on his coaches. And uh, tremendous reverence, like I said. You guys are you know, brothers to him as much as, as anybody. And uh, he, I remember, you know, the last couple of weeks of his life was, you know, you know, he couldn't talk well, obviously, and things. But, you know, when he talked about those things, about his career and stuff, I had asked him, you know, just to, you know I didn't know, we didn't know how much time he had. But I was like, just start writing things down. Write a story. Like, tell about what's important to you and he got about what do you maybe 30 pages of it done on a note like on, on a notebook just and you can't read a lot of it because he like i said he was really boogered up but uh well you can see in there what the coaches meant to him what dr campbell doc alley dave kerfman meant to him what stan and all the support staff chris Dahl, who's not on earth anymore okay and the, and, and all the uh, joe castarella the guys who did a filming jeff henry you name it like oh, the, and i'm sorry if i'm missing any names but you know there's because there, because there's many 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 people that were part of that and uh he uh it was just important so mom thank you uh and uh and the other thing he said he gave me one piece of marital advice he said if you want a happy marriage leave early and come home late so uh i <laughs> it seemed to work for him so <laughs> trying to follow that advice <laughs> Uh, so, uh, with, with no, without further ado, thank you for coming out. Thank you for taking the time. You know, your your uh, commitment, your your being here, your presence just speaks volumes. And uh, we just thank you from the bottom of our heart. You're part of our family, and you know, there's the there's God family football, and you know, God unites everybody. Families unite people, and football unites people. And you know, he was able to do that in some way, shape, or form. I still don't know how he did it, but he did it. And uh, uh, the guys played for him; they loved him. And uh, you know, the uh, I think he did. I think he did good in terms of uh, a lot of things, but making men out of boys. And, and uh, that's all I want to say. So, thank you. God bless. Thanks. Damien? Damien out there? Oh, we're doing the, oh, nice.
Thank you, everybody. Enjoy the game. Go dogs. So, so you guys know, we're unveiling another painting. Nobody's ever seen it in the forge in 15 minutes. Another painting unveiled in 15 minutes at the forge of Coach. If anybody cares to go in and see that. I'm going to try to grab them, get a picture with the two yellows right in front of your sign. Sure. Uh, yeah, they yeah. have a band out there. Yeah. Let me ask you. Now, everything back inside now? Yeah. We're now? Yeah. Okay. okay. Yeah, we're going okay. inside. Okay, okay, okay. I, I, I will go down, go back in, just get off my knee a little bit. All right, good. We'll see you over there. Thanks, Gare. You want to grab him? Yeah. You want to do it right by the painting? Or? Yes. Okay. This man would like to interview you hey, by the painting. Thank you, I appreciate it. Here we go. Okay. Okay. We went back and forth on this. We went back and forth. Back up a little. <laughs>